Alright, well, we actually checked everything that we had to check in Himiko's lab, and we can actually leave her right now. Say goodbye to the floating hat, ladies and gents. I'm sure that we're gonna meet him in the next chapter as well, but uh, for right now, I guess we shall loom. Mm, actually, I don't even know what I'm gonna check next. I mean, we can check one of the three, either the pool, the, the ultimate lab, or Ryoma's room. I think that next thing's next, we're gonna check Ryoma's room and see about the video and if there's any, like a if there's like any clues in his room and all that. And then after that we shall check the lab and the pool and see what it has to say. Mm, is anybody else over here? No, I guess not. Kaito! Hey, so You bought Ryoma's room key, right? It doesn't feel right going in there without permission, but he can't really give it anymore. Uh, it isn't the name of the investigation after all. Well, let's see. Are there any signs that the killer was here? Is anybody here? Huh? Uh, so... This is Ryoma's room, huh? So where is, where's his video? I don't see it sitting out anywhere. Maybe he put it on his bookcase? I do want all the drawers one by one, checking each of them. No, oh, don't tell me. Huh, that's weird. I can't find it anywhere. You're right. I see. So we cannot find it. That's all right. That's a clue in itself. Yeah, it can be that the killer took the monopads at some point, like the cups pads. That, or it could be Kokichi. Huh? What do you mean? Hey! You see, if you suppose the video for the crime was the video, there's a high possibility that Ryoma had the culprit's motive video. Remember. If their motive video was left at the scene, they would be immediately suspicious. Hmm. Good point. There's no reason the culprit would leave behind that kind of incriminating evidence. Ah. That's true. Okay. And the video is not in the room, which means... It. So it's just like we thought. That video was the motive. Okay. Yeah, that's the, exp that's the best explanation I can think of. That's my sidekick. <laughs> Alright, that's what I expect from my top sidekick. Shuichi! What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Uh, nothing. By the way, I was thinking. I mean, maybe you all should have watched those motive videos after all. Huh? What? Nah. They show the most important people to us, right? That's right. So maybe we should have watched them without looking away from the truth. I mean, at the time, I agreed with Kibo, but after thinking about it, I changed my mind. That's right. And if we were worried about watching them alone, we could have just watched them together. Uh, um, watch them together. Got it. Yeah, we should have gathered together and watch all the videos, share everybody's motives. Even if it's something you can't bear by yourself, it'd be it'd be possible with everyone. Hmm. Yeah. That's what cooperation is, right? And then I guess, I guess we should have watched all the videos when we had that insect meet and greet. Hmm. Even if Kokichi was against cooperation, uh. that's what Kokichi was trying to do. Huh? Huh? Hey. Kokichi was trying to get us to participate in a motive video viewing party of sorts. That's why he forced us into the same room. So it can be that even if Kokichi did it in the most terrible way, trying to force us into watching all those videos and keep saying that he was against cooperation, in actuality it may be that he wanted us to cooperate 
but at the same time, he wanted to be seen as an evil person. Hmm. hmm. Do you think that was his way of cooperating? Do you think the same way? Nah. No. If that's what he wanted, he could have just asked us. Jeez. That's what a normal person would have done. But the thing is, he's not normal. True. But at the same time... If he just asked us, how many of us would have agreed with his idea? Not that many, to be quite honest. He forced us all to watch the videos. That's right. Maybe he did want us to cooperate, but there's no way to know for sure. He'd never tell us. Then again, it can be that he forced us to watch all those videos because he has something something else in mind. And he didn't want us to cooperate. We cannot say for sure. That's true. It's impossible to know what Kokichi is thinking. But I suppose he could have been acting in our favor for once. Okay, well, is there really anything else that we can... I mean, maybe there's something under the bed that could offer us a clue? It's a normal bed. It looks like the one in my room. I don't see the coast pad here. Nothing else out of the ordinary either. What about the closet? I should investigate here as well, just in case. When I opened the closet, I discovered several identical sets of clothes, just like Ryoma wore. Mm, just like my room. Ah. Yeah, my soup, my clothes is like this too. It's packed with nothing but my uniforms. Hmm. Really? It must be the same for everyone. That's right. There's no cost pad here, so the copper must have taken it. Mm. True. In that case, I guess we shall. Actually, hold on a second. Nothing around here. No hidden Monokuma plushie, maybe? I guess not. In that case, our next step is gonna be... Mm, either the pool or... Ryoma's lab. Hey, so We are done investigating Ryoma's room. We got not, no other business here, right? Mm, that's right. Alright, well... Let's, uh... Let me just check... The pool... Ryoma's lab, the pool, Ryoma's lab, the pool, Ryoma's lab... I guess, uh... Actually, let me just uh, go over here. And talk to these gals over here. Especially Maki, since she is guarding uh, her lab once again. Uh, Maki, I apologize for what Usami did. I, uh, I actually didn't know. Hey. I actually didn't know that she would actually try inside as well. Maki, what are you doing here? Maki, come on. I said I apologized. Don't be so mad. Um. Earlier you said that you weren't going to help us investigate. Were you serious about that? I mean, how come you're not helping us? So what? You'll be fine, even if I don't help, right? You're the detective, not me. Or do you think you can solve this case on your own? Uh, um... That's completely different. This is... <laughs> That's pretty harsh. Well, my sidekick is working his ass off. Huh? Sidekick? Got it. Yep, Shuichi's my sidekick now. Hey. Shouldn't it be the other way around? The dumb one should be the sidekick? <laughs> Ouch! So... The dumb one. I'm more of a scientist type of guy, so this stuff really isn't my thing. Well... Wouldn't being a scientist be helpful for an investigation? You know... More importantly, why have you been here the whole time? Is there a reason? Like I'd know. Why do you care? No. Because it's been bothering me. Yeah, I mean... Every single day you have been... Here in front of your lab. And... We just cannot talk to you like at all. I mean... Gameplay-wise, we cannot really do like any free time events with you like at all. 
in this chapter. So, I mean, granted, I have been, uh, I have been with Himiko, Kibo, and Ryoma, but I'm interested in you as well. You've been here ever since this room opened up. Almost as if you're keeping watch, making sure no one else enters. I don't understand. Is this an interrogation? No. Uh, no, that's not what I'm trying to do. I just want you to talk to me, Knaki. If it has nothing to do with the case, please tell me so. Hey! It's true that you don't have to help us if you don't want to. Is that all right? But well, you should at least cooperate with our investigation. Because. Because all our lives are on the line. Is that so? Even if I did cooperate, I won't be any help. Well, maybe, <clears throat> maybe you do. Maybe you would be of some help. Like, can you tell us what you did yesterday, last night? Maybe you saw somebody. Mostly because I've been in here for the last several days. Okay. Can you tell us if you are here at 9 p.m. or 10 p.m.? How long did you stay here? And did you actually see somebody go through here? Because Uriyama's lab is like on this floor. Maybe you saw somebody? I've only gone back to my dorm at night to shower, including last night. Hey! Then I can ask you this. Did you see Gonta at all last night? Gonta was searching the grounds last night, trying to capture us, to capture all of us. Why? How were you able to avoid being caught? I see. Gonta did stop by, but I managed to chase him off somehow. <laughs> you, you managed to chase him off? All I did was tell him, if you lay a hand on me, you'll choke to death on your own tongue. That's all. Oh my goodness. Hmm. <laughs> Maki! So Gonta got scared off by that? Well, I guess he would hold back against the girl. As I listened to Maki's testimony, a question grew in my mind. Why did Maki not want to leave so badly? What reason does she have for that? Again, it has something to do with what's inside the lab. Hey. Are we done here? You're wasting your time talking to me. I don't know anything. Ah. Okay, I'm done here. Huh? Uh, you are? That's right. Well, her alibi is a little shaky, but I don't think she killed Ryoma. That's what my instincts are telling me. <laughs> is that so, Kaito? Hey, so. But if you remember anything, be sure to tell Shuichi, okay? I believe in you. He is my psychic, you know. He is pretty good. And the only thing we were able to get out of Maki was that she was here the whole time. But no one else can verify that testimony. It might be a problem later. Mm, that's true. I mean, if it was the killer, then... Then the killer would definitely wouldn't say that Maki was here. If it was somebody else that wasn't a killer, then... I mean, they could testify what Maki said, that she was here, if that other person saw her here, but... Mm, I don't know, maybe there's gonna be some evidence towards that. Kirumi? Hmm. Huh? What are you doing here, Kirumi? Yeah, that is a good question. Why are you here, Miss Dojo? Do you agree? We all agree to investigate with at least one other person present, yes? When she spoke, she glanced toward Maki. Hmm. Ah, so you're staying with Maki. Got it. That's good thinking. Hey, once we're done with the trial, I can get him. Can I get a massage? <laughs> Kaito! May I? But of course. Since you are here, Shuichi, may I ask you a question? The time of death was not provided. So I'm questioning everyone in order to determine it. What do you think? When was the last time you saw Ryoma alive? Well, it was right before Shuichi got captured by Gonta. Now, it is your turn, Miss Tojo. When did you see Ryoma alive last time? 
Uh, um, right before I was kidnapped by Gonta yesterday, around 6 in the evening. So... The last time I saw him was way before then. I didn't see him at all yesterday, actually. Then, then you are fine, Kaito. What's important is the last time someone witnessed him alive. Hey! The last time someone witnessed Ryoma alive. That is correct. Gonta was the last one to see him alive at around 8 p.m. yesterday. Hmm, okay. So the time at which Shuichi got captured was actually 8 p.m. Or maybe they did see him. Wait, what? Oh, actually, hold on. Ryoma managed to avoid being captured by him by using his Shukuchi method. Okay, so it was around 8 p.m. Hmm, okay. So Ryoma was still running around after I got captured. Yes, of course. Furthermore, 30 minutes earlier, Mew saw Ryoma as she was fleeing from Gonta. Okay. Hmm. In that case, Gonta's testimony is highly credible. Yes. Yes, we at least know that Ryoma was alive yesterday, until around 8 p.m. Okay, well, that's good to know, Miss Tojo. I'd like to thank you for that. Well, I can't help you. I don't know anything. Ah, yeah, I know. But you know. But if you remember anything, be sure to tell Shuichi, okay? I believe in you. He's my psychic, you know. He's pretty good. Okay, well, I'll see you two at the trial. Meanwhile, I'm still gonna have to think about this whole thing. Hmm. What is the deal with this door, actually? What's the matter? What's the matter? This isn't related to the case, right? We don't know when the class trial is gonna start. We can't just be no. We can't just be going on a walk. Okay. Yeah, true. Unless, unless once we start chapter three, Monokuma or the Monocubs are gonna offer us some items, and we're gonna be able to do something with this. That's. That can be something. That or it has been used in the crime. Well, we don't know for sure. Anyway, let's um, let's see about Ryoma's lab. Why well, she? Before we do that, mm, anyone around here that I haven't talked to? Mm, no. Okay. Let's um. Let's go inside the Ryoma's lab and see if if there is anything good that we can find. Oh? The other tennis pro's lab. If I'm right, then the handcuffs that were found in the tank came from here. And if the handcuffs came from here, that means the copper was here as well. I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe we're gonna find that this is where the handcuffs came from, but you know... If I were to think about it, maybe you could have found the handcuffs inside Himiko's lab as well, because, you know, handcuffs can be part of escape tricks. They may have left a trace of evidence, even though Himiko didn't use, like, handcuffs, like, at all during her, during her escape act. They may have left a trace of evidence. Hmm. The room, this room is a little different from when we were here before. It feels off. What's the matter? What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Uh, nothing. Anyway, let's figure out the handcuffs. We should take care of that problem first. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is definitely. Somebody definitely touched this and did something. Hmm. We have the tennis balls. Actually, what is this? Nothing. Okay. In that case, I guess we shall check. I guess we shall check the shower room. Let's see if Shuichi is actually right. Oh, yeah. Look at this. <laughs> Definitely a shower room from a prison. This is the first time I've been in here. It's a shower room, but it feels less like the Ultimate Tennis Pros. Hmm. And more like the Ultimate Prisoner's Lab. Hey, so. Do you think it was made that way on purpose? Did they remodel the shower just for that? Okay. Yeah, I think they did. Ugh. 
Jeez, Monokuma's got bad taste. Oh, well, we already knew that. Yeah, you sure have some terrible taste. Well, I can tell you from experience, ever since I have been to the fun house and all that. But, okay. Let's see, is there anything around here that would help us? Maybe... Nah, nothing at all. Closed window. This window has no vines or barbed wire or bars blocking it. And there was that one window I could see from the pool area. This is probably that window. I should not be able to make sure. Just as I suspected. Huh. Okay. The window you can see from the pool is the window to Ryoma's lab. Uh huh. And over there is the window to the gym. Hmm. Oh, and would you look at that? Look at that. There are like markings there as well. Huh? Oh, cool. What up? We're, we're on the third floor, so we're pretty high up, yeah? If you did it just right, I think you could just jump right into the pool from here. You're right. Yeah, maybe you can swim at any time other than nighttime. But it said it in the school rules and the rules in the pool are areas area as well. Ah. Let's see. Well, I don't wanna swim, so it doesn't so that doesn't really affect me. Hmm? Wait a second. What's this? Huh? Huh? Hey, so Look, there's wood scratches on the window frame. Okay. Alright. There are definitely there are definite abrasions here. Abrasions on this window? Abrasions on the other window? To the gym? These marks are similar to the ones that were on the gym's window frame. I'm positive these marks aren't the result of opening and closing the window normally. This window frame is sturdy as well. And the gym's window frame was the same way. It looks like it will hold, even a lot of weight on it. Shuichi! I understand, right Shuichi? Sixty-five feet in length. Huh. <laughs> okay, well this is interesting. Huh? What? Got it. How amazing I am to have noticed such a super ultra important clue. Nah. Well, I guess you do deserve like one weak pad on the back, but no, we we could have noticed that too. Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. It's all in a day's work for Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. I mean, I found a pretty important clue too, but I won't say that. <laughs> huh. Well, this is interesting. Alright, well, what about the handcuffs? There they are, the handcuffs. Yep. And there's one spot for another handcuff. Um, you Kaito. Handcuffs hanging on the wall. Hmm? Yeah, you can definitely use them, Kaito. You never know when you're gonna need them. Oh, they look like the ones in the tank. Or, wait. Are they the same? Because... Mm, I think so. Here, look. Remember. See? One empty hook. The handcuffs were found must have been hung here. The handcuffs we found must have been hang must have been hung here. That means the culprit was definitely here. Yep. The copper was definitely here and used one of the handcuffs. And did something to this. Hmm. What about the sink? This is a pretty big stone sink. You could fill it up with a lot of water. Hmm. Huh? What's this? Hmm. Scratches on the stone. Like something was scraped against it. Oh. <laughs> so that's where the scratches on the handcuff came from. So... 
You're right. But what made them? Hmm. These scratch marks are clearly not natural. They must have been made by some kind of metal. That is interesting. And it's a giant sink, you say? I came here to confirm my suspicion about the handcuffs found in the tank. But we found even more important clues than I expected. Together with the fact that this is Ryoma's own lab, there are too many points of concern to be mere coincidence. It must be important evidence. Hey! It seems like we figured something out. You seem more confident. All right. All right. Now on the next place. There's no point staying here. Okay. All right. Yeah. We are getting closer and closer to figuring out this whole thing. I guess. Actually, before we do that, let me just check something else over here. Hmm. I see. I think I may have an idea over here, but I guess I'm gonna leave it that. I guess I'm gonna leave that for a little bit later and talk about it. For right now. Hey, so. So where should we go? Whoa! Ooh! Uh, Kaito? As he came out of the shower room, Kaito tripped and fell to the ground. <laughs> Tripping on balls, Mr. Kaito Momota. Hold up! The hell? He's caught on my leg. Eh? That's... Uh, it looks like a cable. Yeah, I actually noticed that before. <laughs> I thought it was nothing. Ah. Is this for the tennis mat? Man, whoever lived this year should have put it in the corner. For the tennis net? Wait, the tennis net? Hmm. See? So that's why this one felt odd. Why, I mean, you didn't notice the tennis net feeling being, like, all weird? I shouldn't investigate this in detail. I mean, we definitely should. Yeah, somebody took the, the cord from the tennis net. Huh. The reason I thought this room felt off is because of the net. When I came here last last time, the tennis was the tennis net was was up. Okay. But now the cable has been removed. Huh? So like someone took the cable off? Why would they do that? That is a good question. What is the purpose of this? What is the meaning of this? Hey. Aito, can you help me? I want to measure how long this cable is. No need. It's just about 50 feet long. Huh? What? Ah. Oh, I was in the tennis club till middle school, so I know how long the cable is. <laughs> Et tu, Kaito? Et tu? I mean, the next thing you know, you have been to a village too. And played with ropes. Uh, um... You were in the tennis club? Wait. Tennis club, you say? That's right. That's why it pissed me off so much that Ryoma was acting like that. Hey! Did you know Ryoma from before? Ah. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. You know. I mean, these days, there's no one who's played tennis that hasn't heard of him. He's been a tennis legend since middle school. He was like a hero to every tennis kid. I see. So that's why you were so angry at him. Last time you yelled at him. Jeez. And then, once I finally got to meet him, he became a coward. That pissed me off so much, I ended up being too hard on him. Damn. But regretting that now won't help. There's nothing I can do. Mm. So... so what's suspicious about the length of the cable? Did something about it bother you? Yeah, I do have to wonder, what is with this cable over here? I mean, we have the rope in the gym that is 65 feet in length. 
And this? No. Uh, nothing so specific. I was checking. Hmm. hmm. So detectives get bothered by small details, huh? Well, small details may end up being important too, Mr. Momota. <laughs> like an overbearing mother-in-law nitpicking a young wife. That's an oddly specific comparison there. Uh, um... <laughs> what is that analogy? Yeah, I do have to wonder. What is with that analogy? Alright, I served the whole area now. I should move on to the next one. There are still other places left to search. Yep. And then it is definitely the pool. We should definitely check that and see what's up. But before that, is there any queen around here? Like anybody else that we can talk to? Hmm. I guess not. Okay, well, in that case, let's go to the pool. And see what's going on. What does that say? Welcome. Enjoy the game. That doesn't really look like a J. It looks like an I. Enjoy the game? <laughs> we shall enjoy the game! That definitely sounds like Feng Shui or something. Okay. Let me just use my detective vision. What in the world? What do I have over here? Inner tube? Bits of fabric? There's an inner tube floating in a pool. It looks like a big, sturdy rubber one. I see. Let me guess. Some idiots didn't clean up after themselves. Rise and shine, sign! Okay, what do you have to say here, Monocubs? Now, don't look at us! I don't like water. I prefer juice. Hmm, it gets heavier when our cotton absorbs water. It makes losing weight a nightmare. I want to play in the water with everyone. It sounds fun! Ah. Number five is a lie! You know, Monoda might be on to something. I kinda wanna go in the pool now. I'll do it! Yeah, who cares about losing weight? You stupid idiots! We're not here to play! We're here to snake these bastards into the pits of hell! We're the Monocubs! The meanest, nastiest, cruelest mascots around! Dumbass! If you don't get it, I'll throw you all into the pool myself! <laughs> please, please don't! Monosuke, please stop! Can't we all just get along? What? Y you saying that if we don't get along, I'll end up like Moro Kids? Oh! Oh, what do we have over here? We have some foreshadowing! Usually I... Usually I hate... When I... When I see, like, some form of foreshadowing over here, but... Oh, this is interesting. It can be that Monodom is going after his next target! And that must be Monosuke! You better watch your back, Monosuke! So long, farewell. Yeah, Monosuke is gonna die by the end of this chapter. Hmm. And I don't give a fuck. I only care about I only care about my lovely students. I don't give a shit I don't give a shit about the monocubs. Except Monodam, he seems like a cool pal. So then, it was one of us that put an inner tube there. Not the monocubs? Well, it doesn't matter. The inner tube probably isn't related to the case. Uh, hold on a second, Kaito. It may be related to the case. You just don't know. It isn't related to the case. If it were just for playing around, then... Why is there a rope tied to it? What could that be for? Yeah, it definitely has to be something related to the... Yeah, it definitely has something to do with the case. That is intriguing. Yep. As well as this bit of fabric over here. There's something else floating in the pool. It looks like a little piece of fabric. It's just trash, right? Nothing to be worried about. 
And that's why you're gonna you and that's why you would suck as a detective, Mr. Momota. It looks like Just be glad that you are the ultimate astronaut after all. You know We're looking for a culprit. We don't have time to pick up trash. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, but but that is just my intuition, but it does bother me. I should learn to trust it sometimes. My intuition as the ultimate detective. Black piece of fabric. What does it say exactly? Oh, also... <laughs> uh, I don't know if I actually told you this, or... Maybe you saw it in the last episode or something, I don't know, but yeah, I also bought like a, a theme for Mew. And uh, for those of you who are asking, oh, how come you're not using that theme or that theme? Well, that is because in the casino, you only have unlocked, you, you can only buy at this point, like, four themes for the students. Like, one for Kaedesh, one for Shuichi, one for Mew, and the last one is Kaito. There aren't like... Like, the other students don't have their themes yet there. And I'm waiting for that. But right now I also bought, like, Mew's theme, just to use it for a while. But... What was I want- what did I want to do? Oh, yeah. Well, not this, um... The truth bullets over here. Come on! There you go. A piece of fabric that was floating in a pool. At the first glance, it looked like trash. But in actuality, maybe that it came from... Either Ryoma or the culprit. It can be a piece of clothing. Like, from his jacket, maybe? Or... Hmm. Okay, well, anything else? Let me just check the rules here a little bit. Some pool rules are posted here. There's one that I find peculiar. There are also some specifications written here. The pool is 80 foot, 82 feet in length and is 39 feet wide. The pool side is 13 feet on each end and the left and right sides are 8 feet. There's something bothering me about the pool rules. They say... Oh, hello, Margama. Oh, no jumping into the pool, especially at night time. Um... I think that we already know that, Monokuma. Thank you. Whoa! Whoa where did you come from? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, jumping itself is fine. Even uh, jumping in front of a car or a train, that's on you. No, no, no! But the pool is off limits at night time. It is a big no, no, no! No swimming at night time. That's... That will be a violation, right? Hey, um... If anyone violates a school regulation, a campus white siren will blare. <laughs> and then that person will be ripped apart by the exiles. Yeah, in that case, Ryoma definitely didn't die by drowning in the pool. It definitely is a different place where he has been drowned to death. And I think we already know where he has been drowned. What? You'd go that far? Oh yeah! Well, so far the siren hasn't gone off. So no one's needed to be ripped apart. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> um... Since that's the case, can we assume no one was in the gym or pool at night time? Oh, yeah. well, well, at the very least, no one alive. Is that so? No one alive. Hmm, no swimming at night time. That just might play into the into this case. Mm, okay then. Um, I think we're gonna end it for right now. Actually, ah, fuck. I don't know how much investigating we have left, and I definitely have to end it like right here because I have some other stuff to do, like 
maybe something that has to do with Uriyama's body, but we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it at that. I cannot really continue for right now. I'm gonna leave it for the next episode and finish the investigation, which honestly, it doesn't feel like we have that much to investigate to begin with. <laughs> it can be that we may have like one more piece of evidence to investigate inside the pool and we're gonna go to the trial grounds and that will probably be like a short episode. I have a gut feeling that that's what's gonna happen, but yeah, I guess we shall. Oh yeah, I also have the warehouse, like not the warehouse, but storage room here to check, so mm, I guess so.